I'm Gina, I'm 16, I'm from Noonan, Georgia. Shut the f up. Look, I'll put one dish away so you shut the hell up, okay? One dish. Now get off my d okay? Goodbye. Things changed with Gina after she stopped cheerleading as far as smoking and stealing and lying. If my parents caught me up here smoking, I really don't think that they would do anything because they already know I smoke and they can't do anything about it. Gina is very argumentative. She lies and she's disrespectful to all adults. Get out. Don't bother me. Don't come near my and get out of my face. The relationship between me and my mom is not mother and daughter because I am more in charge than her. Ma, push me. Get out of my face. I don't know what to do with Gina. I'm really fed up with her nonsense. Go to the dishwasher. that, no. This is definitely Gina's world and everybody's living in it. I hope Gina has a heart change and realizes that she can't push people around emotionally and physically. I pack cigarettes and a lot of Taylor. I'm Gina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. When I first met Taylor, I thought he was a little bit intimidated by me. You're one of them, like, hardcore smokers that, like, do whatever it takes so you can smoke your cigarette? Yes, if I'm pissed off and I'm bored, yeah. I'm going to go smoke cigarette. Trust me, I'm slick. Yeah. I'm sorry. We'll see how slick you are. Gina is definitely hardcore. She doesn't play around. I definitely think she'll be a pain in the ass this week. Oh, God. Come on, bud. Let's go. Jump in. I just want to see what they look like. Oh, God. Uh, they look too happy. <laughs> a really happy family. Happy people just get on my nerves. Hi. Hi. I'm Pamela. Nice to meet you, Taylor. Taylor? Yeah. It's a great name. I'm Gina. Hi, Gina. Nice okay. to meet you. I'm Terry. Welcome to Camp Malone. <laughs> yeah. My first impression was looking at Gina and saying she's a party girl. I'm a retired police officer. I was a tactical commander, SWAT commander. I'm a coach. I'm a teacher and I believe in structure, and that's why we have these rules. It was kind of like we just walked in and they wanted to get straight to business. The first rule is no foul language, no swearing. We don't do that here. There's no smoking or tobacco use. You're gonna be getting up at 8.30 in the morning? Every morning when we get up, there's a list of chores to be done. Sweeping, vacuuming, cleaning toilets. If you fight it, it could go on all day. There's consequences to choices that you make. Consequences include foul language will get you 10 push-ups. Consequences for the tobacco use, the alcohol use, and the drug use, we have a little thing called boot camp, and it can range anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes. I think that's dumb, because if you smoke, you're not a good exerciser, but she's not going to catch me. If you have anything in your bags or anything on your person that violate our house rules, Anything you have in your bags or on your person, bring out to us. Go ahead. I don't have it. Okay. You don't have anything? You don't have anything? Clean? You don't have Is there anything in your luggage that violates the house rules? No, ma'am. Cell phones. I know for teenagers, it's a lifeline, and we need them. When? Now. I can't give you my phone. We're not going to have any distractions. I can't. I, I need it. There's going to be no distractions. Do you get them back at the end of the week? No. They're coach, so I'll, I'll be open to it. OK. Get a boy. It's a great attitude. And one thing that I also need to say is we only ask once. And then after that, there's consequences. Five. Five, two, five. Four. Three. Two. One. It's not off yet. Thank you. It's a good start. Okay. Want to see where you're staying? I guess so. Let's go. Let's do it. I think this week is going to be a bunch of bullshit. 
I'm not gonna be happy. Gina, this will be your room for the week. It's so little. It's little? This is your bedroom. OK, you're going to be sleeping up on the bunk. Oh, yeah. OK. I don't think that they're going to find my cigarettes. They're stupid for trusting me. Are you ready? Or what? We'll go find out. Let's go. Gina is in this situation for a reason. Do you want to collect a couple tomatoes? There's a few cherry tomatoes. Do you like cherry tomatoes? No. There's something going on, and I'm going to figure it out. Do you have anything? No, I don't. Come on, be honest. No. Mm -mm, you can go through it if you want to. It doesn't bother me. So. Yeah, I do. Let's get it. 